Hello, my name is Mara Linsky Deegan, and I am the Associate Curator and Registrar here at the Charles H. McKnighter Art Museum in Mason City, Iowa. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the artist Robert Vickery and just a teeny bit about his piece that we have in our collection called Clown with Ruff. Uh, Robert Vickery was born in Manhattan in New York City in 1926 and um, he went to the Pomfret School um, for his uh, early education. He also um, studied at Wesleyan University and in 1947 he got his Bachelor of Arts from Yale University. Uh, he studied at the Art Students League in New York um, and one of the cool things is he studied uh, under another artist who we have in our collection named Reginald Marsh. Uh, which I think is kind of cool that um, people we have in our collection actually were taught by other people we have in our collection. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And in 1950, he got his Bachelor of Fine Arts uh, from Yale. So Robert Rickery decided that yes, he wanted to be an artist. That's what he wanted to do as a career. Um, sometimes, even today, and even uh, when he was coming out of college in the late 1940s and through the 1950s, it was uh, difficult to make a full living um, as an artist, but he actually really wanted to do it, and so he decided to become a commercial artist, which means that he would take commissions, people would tell him what they wanted, and then he would create that for them. And one of the things he did from 1942, while he was still in school, all the way up through 1966, he actually illustrated uh, for Time Magazine. And he even illustrated some of the covers of Time Magazine, which is pretty cool. And uh, in that time, that was a, uh, a time period that Time Magazine was really popular. So his covers got seen all over the United States and the world by all kinds of people. Um, and so that was a, a really great way for him to make a career as an artist, but then also leave him time to create things that he wanted to create um, and also do uh, personal uh, artwork for um, people like that would come and talk to him about what they wanted specifically for him that was a little bit different than commercial art. So when he was painting for himself, a lot of the time he liked to focus on just a few subject matters. He would, um, as with this piece, which we'll talk about in just a second, he would kind of uh, go away from that a little bit, but a lot of the time he would um, uh, paint or draw children playing, uh, nuns, and also he would really focus on shadow. A lot of times you'll see his work um, and it focuses on like a playground or a park, really focusing on the way that the trees or some of the other buildings or maybe even the playground equipment would make shadows on the ground or on things behind it. And he was really interested in that aspect of painting. Um, now, obviously this piece is not one of those, um, but I do think, especially if you look at the figure in the middle there, the clown, if you look at his uh, face, you can really see where um, shadowing was important to Robert Vickery, and you can see how he really focused on that, especially with the face. All right, our piece Clown with Ruff here is actually a lithograph on paper. Um, but a lot of the time, Robert Vickery would make paintings, and he kind of used what nowadays is a little bit unusual uh, medium, which means uh, uh, materials to make his paintings. He would use egg tempera. And what egg tempera is, it's pigment that you would take that would make the colors, and you'd mix that with an egg yolk, which is kind of a weird thing to mix it with. But that egg yolk would bind the pigments together and then also bind those pigments onto the canvas that he was working on or the board and make really bright, uh, paintings that had a lot of color to them. Now, egg tamper is not something that's really easy to use. You really have to work with it to get the colors right and also get it so it's not going to be really soppy with eggs or be so dry that the pigment doesn't stick. So that's something that a lot of artists really have to work on and that's one that he did as well. Um, and um, it was, egg tamper was really popular from before the 1500s. So way back in the day. Um, but the nice thing is that it lasts for a really long time. So we have a lot of artwork that was created um, before the 1500s in egg tempera that are, is, that are still around today and they still look really nice. Now, um, after 1500, it's not like people stopped using it. It just um, became more popular to use oil paints because they were a little bit easier to use. And then um, later on, especially into the 19, or 1800s and 1900s, people had uh, paint in tubes that was much easier to use and you didn't have to mix it yourself. Um, but like I said, this piece is a lithograph, which is a type of art print on a piece of paper. 
Um, and I like it because, myself, because it definitely is pretty simple when you look at it, but if you get up close, and we'll do that in just a few minutes here, get up close to the face, you can see that maybe it's not so simple as it looks from far away. So with this piece, um, this is one of the pieces that we actually had in uh, an, an exhibition that we had down in our center space gallery. And uh, that exhibition was all about people's opinions. So we invited people that came into the museum to write down their opinions about different pieces of artwork that are in our collection, and this is one of them. So I thought it would be a great idea today to do some critical thinking questions for you guys um, to answer some questions about this piece and kind of give your opinion about it. So critical thinking questions, if you haven't heard that before, those are questions that get beyond just the basics. So the basics are that Robert Vickery created this piece and that this piece is called Clown with Ruff and that it was made around 1979. Those are really easy facts about the piece. Some people know them, like me, and some people don't, uh, maybe like you. But critical thinking questions are questions that anybody can answer. Even if you don't know who made this piece or what the title of it is or when it was created, you can still answer critical thinking questions because they're more about what you think and um, what you really are, your opinions, than facts, if that makes sense. So we're gonna get started in just a second here. So I want you to put your thinking caps on and get ready to answer some questions. Now, after each question, I'm gonna say, if you want to answer them with your, just by yourself or with your family or with whoever's with you, you can pause the video between each question to really answer the questions um, and then go on to the next one. And there'll be three questions that I'm gonna ask. The first critical thinking question that I'm gonna ask is, how does this artwork make you feel? So I want you to really take a look and think, how does it make you feel? And I also want you to answer, as part of that question, why do you think this artwork makes you feel the way you do when you look at it? The next question is, would you want this artwork to hang in your bedroom? And if, why or why not? And the last question I want you to really think about is do you think that the artist, Robert Vickery, based this portrait of a clown with rough on somebody he knew? Or if, do you think that he made up the face? And if you think that he based it on somebody he knew, what clues would lead you to think that maybe he knew this person that he drew a portrait of? 